hundreds of kilometers above the rusted surface, a solitary eye watches. It is not just a camera. It is the silent witness of a slumbering world. The high rise, the high resolution imaging science experiment on board the Mars reconnaissance orbiter. It has the capacity to see what our eyes never could. It transforms geology into abstract art. It turns craters into cathedrals. Today, we leave the science of numbers aside to dive into the science of beauty. Let us travel through 16 visions of a world that is, at once, alien and strangely familiar. We begin where history was written in stone. In the regions of Arabia and Xanthi, the ground splits into bands. These aren't just rocks, they are pages. Light-toned layers stretch out like soft brushstrokes on an ancient canvas. What we see here is geological memory, strata waiting to be read, contrasting with the darkness of the surrounding terrain, a musical score made of sediment. But Mars is not dead, it moves. In Gassa Crater, winter leaves its mark. Look at this distinct patch, a deep electric blue that breaks the monotony of the ochre. It is the trail of a recent avalanche born of carbon dioxide frost, a cold and beautiful wound glowing under the southern spring sun, evidence that even in the silence, the landscape breathes. we move on to Marth Vallis. Here, the violence of the past has carved the serenity of the present. Where raging waters once ran, today we see exposed complexity. The ground is fractured, like a mosaic broken and reassembled by giant hands. Every crack, every twist in the rock, tells a story of pressure, stretching, and the undeniable power of erosion. It is organized chaos across kilometers of stone. On the walls of Capri Mensa, time is vertical. Like a sliced cake, the crater reveals its secret ingredients. At the top, a smooth dark blue, almost like velvet worn down by the wind. Below, the brown of broken rocks, rough and resilient. And at the base, the light returns in sculpted forms, faceted like raw gemstones. It is a natural architecture that defies any human skyscraper. Here, order has vanished. Ridges, cracks, and plains blend into a visual labyrinth. Shades of sulfur and hematite paint the ground where Perhaps a placid lake once existed. Today, it is an abstract painting, a jumble of textures suggesting that something grand collapsed, leaving behind only the beauty of its ruin. And then we meet the sea, not of water, but of sand, the sea of dunes in the vast northern reaches. They look like waves frozen in time, ready to break on the shore, yet paralyzed by the cold and the thin atmosphere. The enhanced colors show us the depth of these sandy valleys. It is a silent ocean, where the only tide is the slow wind of centuries. There are ghosts on Mars, like these sinuous ridges. They curve like serpents or the roots of ancient trees. It is the negative of a river. Where water once flowed, the sediment hardened. And when the rest of the soil washed away, the riverbed remained, elevated like a raised scar. The skeleton of a circulatory system that dried up billions of years ago.
we return to Arabia Terra, an eternal favorite of the high-rise lens. Where the dust grants a truce, the rock shines. Formations that look like steps of a staircase for giants. The colors here are not just data, they are ornaments. It is as if the planet has dressed itself in its finest geological jewelry, patiently waiting for someone to look down. We now dive into the abyss. Melas Chasma, the widest segment of the Grand Valles Marineris. Here, the scale humbles us. The colors on the canyon walls suggest a rich and complex mineralogy. But to us, distant observers, they look like ink stains on a colossal parchment. It is the open heart of Mars. In Renodo Crater, the icy past meets the sandy present. Dunes cover the floor, but the walls whisper stories of ancient glaciers. This crater is named after a French astronomer, Gabrielle Renaudot, who spent her life looking up at the sky. Now the sky looks back at the crater that bears her name, watching the slow dance between the sand and the memory of ice. Once again in Morth Vallis, the rock outcrops stand out. Rich in clays, they glimmer with the promise of ancient water. But visually, they are painter's palettes left in the sun. Stains of ochre, rust, and cream blend together, creating a terrain that looks soft to the eye, even though it is hard as stone. Deep in the Hellas Basin, the wind works tirelessly. We are at one of the lowest elevations on the planet. Here, the dunes are not still. They migrate, ripples upon ripples. It is a desert inside a crater, a dynamic system where sand flows like an hourglass that never runs out. Sometimes violence creates symmetry. In Arena Collies, we see an impact crater with a central peak. At the moment of collision, the earth behaved like water, splashing upward and freezing instantly into rock. It is the solid echo of a cosmic catastrophe. and when spring arrives, Mars creates patterns. The thaw draws fans and cracks on the ground. It looks like the planet's skin is stretching, waking up, creating shapes that resemble spiders or black roots against the white frost. It is the art of the ephemeral, patterns that change every year, every season. In Jean's crater, the dunes take on almost perfect shapes. The physics of sand grains and the constancy of the wind create a smooth, velvety texture that hides the harshness of the environment. It is the simplicity of nature in its most elegant form. And finally, in Terra Samaria, the backbone of the planet is exposed. The bedrock rises, stripped of dust and sand. 
It is the foundation, the raw base upon which this entire world was built, rough, fractured, and eternal, from dunes that mimic oceans to craters that hoard ice. Through the lens of high-rise, Mars ceases to be just a distant neighbor or a target for exploration. It becomes a gallery, each image an involuntary masterpiece painted by gravity, by the wind, and by time. All we have to do is look.